Hi, I'm Peter. I'm 77 and I was diagnosed with NETS in February 2015. The symptoms since, since then include hot flushes, uh, occasional bouts of diarrhoea and syncope where my blood pressure drops very quickly and I need to take action to stop myself fainting. When the blood pressure drops suddenly, um, I probably get about a minute or so's notice of it happening and it mainly affects my, my head. Um, I virtually get a, a tunnel vision sort of effect and a fuzzy feeling in the head. The only treatment for, for that, for the syncope, is to get down on the floor, lie down flat with my knees up to try and get the blood back to my head as quickly as possible. I've had a couple of episodes where I've been able to do that quite successfully and usually in about half an hour or so I've come good and I'm, I'm fine again. I've had regular injections of sandostatin, um, variously two week, three week, four week intervals depending on how active they thought my, my tumours and, and, and metastases were. The other treatment I've had has been some radiation, nuclear medicine. The first lot I had was in 2018. Went for best part of six months, four injections over a period of months uh, in conjunction with chemotherapy. Again, I had very little side effects from any of that. And then last year, I, was it last year? I had last year, I had a couple, two more rounds of it. Because I've had so little effects until recently, it's really been, hasn't interfered with my normal normal life at all really certainly for the first seven or so years um, my wife and I traveled regularly overseas uh, was able to take to get hold of my, my sandostatin injections and take them with me and have them applied overseas um, exercise wise I swim walk the dog none of that's really been affected it's a matter too of maintaining some sort of positive attitude about the whole thing. It's unfortunate that I've got it, but I got it, so you've got to get on with it. Live your life. Don't let it don't let it dictate what you can and can't do.